Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio, so today I am showing you a new Lorantis card. Now, if you've been watching these videos lately, you will know that I am a huge, huge fan of Lorantis GX. I've done a video about Lorantis GX, although there is a slight mistake in the video. It is any basic energy you can recover from the discard. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out right now. I shall wait here. But in the Sun and Moon Strengthening Expansion Pack, think of it as Sun and Moon 1.5, we are getting another Lorantis card. And this one could be quite fun. Now, before we get starting, one important question we must get out of the way. This is not Lorantis GX, it's Lorantis. They have two separate names. That means that you can play for Lorantis GX and for Lorantis in the same deck at the same time. You can only play four copies of a card with a particular name, even if they do different things. But you can play for Lorantis and for Lorantis GX in the same way that you could only play four in any combination of the Oblivion Wing and Fright Night of Altal. But then you could play four of Altal EX on top of that. So there we go, out the way nice and simply. 100 HP on this new Lorantis means it cannot be got with level ball, which is slightly upsetting. Retreat cost of two is slightly higher than we'd like. It means we'll need a double colorless energy to retreat it under trainer lock. We have a weakness to fire, which, to be honest, is expected but slightly annoying. And being a grass type means we're not really hitting for great weakness at the moment. Although I suppose things like Zygarde, you are hitting for weakness, so you never know. The fire weakness, of course, against decks like Incineroar and Volcanion could be a pain. There is an attack here. It does a straightforward 80 damage for free energy. It's not particularly good. Don't be caught up about it. If you're using this attack something has probably gone wrong but we have an ability sunny day as long as this pokemon is in play each of your grass and fire pokemon do 20 more damage to your opponent's active pokemon this is a very nice ability indeed now remember it's a grass pokemon so forest of giant plants can be used and remember that it is only a stage one and stage one plus a stadium that allows you to evolve whenever you feel like it means that this will be quite easy to get out and rolling with. Now, I said this in the Poison Barb video, and I said this in the Choice Band video. Links to both in the description. Doing extra damage is always good. Now, the most obvious thing here is just to play Lorantis with Lorantis GX. Now, Choice Band comes in here as well. So, Lorantis GX's first attack... 40 damage, attach 2 basic energy of any description from your discard part to your Pokemon in any way that you like. This is superb. But now you put a choice band on Lorantis and you're doing 70 damage while attaching energy. Now you get one of these Lorantis on the bench and you're doing 90 damage. Plus attaching the two energy. And now we're starting to get into really, really good territory. Although do remember that Choice Band only adds damage against an EX or a GX. You can get three Lorantis on the bench and one GX in the active. Now you're doing a hundred damage for one single energy card while accelerating energy. That is absurd. Now in reality you don't want one GX and free non-GX on the bench, the GX is your attacker. But might I remind you of the card Devolution Spray here? This could be quite handy to allow you to devolve into Fomantis so that you can then switch from the attacker to the one doing extra damage or from the one doing the extra damage into the attacker. Now this will of course work for any grass deck. If you're playing Forest of Giant Plants, you might as well play this. So let's take something like Vesperquen, for instance. You can do an extra 20 damage by having Lorantis on your bench. But if your opponent plays a parallel city, forcing you to discard Lorantis, or knocks Lorantis out, now you've got two extra Pokemon in your discard pile to do an extra 20 damage with Bee Revenge. It will actually do 20 extra damage whether it's on the field or not. That amuses me greatly. Now, as a side note, I'm not going to stand here and go through every grass deck in the format. Every grass deck could use this very easily. You've got Forest of Giant Plants, and doing extra damage is always good. It's it's a stage one, so it doesn't take much of an investment. The real pain here, of course, is, like I've said, the fact that it's got a retreat cost of two, making it an annoying Lysander target. 
Now, it's not just grass Pokemon to which it will add extra damage. It is fire Pokemon as well. Now, this is where we get into a slight problem. Because although decks like Volcanium would love to be doing an extra 20 damage, really this is good, not just because of the ability, but because of its access to Forest of Giant Plants and the fact that you can evolve it up straight away, first turn of the game, as soon as you put it down on the bench, whenever you feel like it. And you don't really get to do that with fire decks. Now, I suppose you could. Let's take Volcanian decks. You really want to be having Volcanian EX on your bench so you can do the extra damage. So you want to have Skyfield out to extend your bench. Most play that. Some play Scorched Earth so that you can discard a fire energy from your hand and draw two extra cards. However, there's nothing really to stop you playing Forest of Giant Plants and some Lurantis in here, although I suspect it will get a little bit clunky. That's the problem with fire decks. You've now got to add Forest of Giant Plants and Lurantis. That makes it clunky. Really here, the decks that it fits into very, very nicely are Vespaquen, because in Vespaquen, you just want to be playing more Pokemon, and you're playing Forest of Giant Plants anyway, it makes perfect sense. And Lurantis, because, well, you're playing Lurantis GX, you're playing Fomantis, you're playing Forest of Giant Plants, and you can play Lurantis in addition to Lurantis GX, so you don't even have to make a decision as to which one you play. This is wonderful. They're the two decks it's really going to shine. But this is another one of those cards, like I've been talking about with a few lately. It's Binder Fodder. Maybe you don't want it in your Lurantis deck. Maybe you don't want it in your Vespaquen deck. But this will, for as long as it's in the format, and certainly for as long as Forest of Giant Plants is legal for tournament play, it is going to be there as a really good tech in Grass decks. And that makes it very, very valuable and deserving of i'm gonna go between three and four wassies we don't give half wassies that would be barbaric this is not a card that you have to have in lurantis lurantis is going to be a very good deck just using the gx but there's nothing to stop you teching one or two of these in. You don't have to put it in Vespaquen, though it would make a good tech. But it's always going to be there, waiting to be used by grass decks. The attack is terrible, the retreat cost is slightly higher than I would like, but doing extra damage is always good. Stage 1, Forest of Giant Plants, extra damage. I think I've made my point. Now you know the deal ladies and gentlemen there is a comment section. Go nuts, be nice. There are buttons to both like this video and subscribe to this channel. Could I please politely request that you use them both. You can follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.